This is a GPS tracker system and this is a LoRa based hardware interface. With this device, I can track everything about the hardware ranging from the location of the Biara down to the speed, temperature, altitude, audio or voice of the user and his environment. What makes this possible is because the GPS hardware is integrated with a LoRa module and with that in place, it can communicate its sensor reading to the receiver via a wireless LoRa communication which is in the range of 1 km. Before I share further how it works, let me show you how I assembled and programmed the device. Starting off the build, I apply a soldering flaws at all the soldering part of the design PCB. Next, I brought in place all the required parts for the assembly. And with this done, I started component placement. This process took longer time as I have to ensure that all the ICs are properly oriented before placement. Finally, this is the LoRa module which I place in position. With all the component placements completed, I carefully place the board on the preheating station and power it. The heating temperature reaches 180 degrees centigrade and the soldering automatically starts while I manually align the components. The board completely soldered, I remove it from the preheating station and examine it. With this, I now have two different designs, the LoRa based hardware interface and a different design which I'm working on. With a focus on the LoRa device, I measure the output from the charging circuit and it's up to expected 4.2V to charge the lithium battery. Next is to solder the OLED and then program the board using external UART. Having this wire together, I uploaded the blink code and the blue LED indicates that. Here is my GPS hardware which I integrated with LoRa module with the two devices programmed and interlinked to each other. At the moment, the GPS is downloading Amanak and Ephemeris data from the nearest satellite and hence why there is no coordinate reading. For now, the runtime of the tracker is transmitted to the LoRa based hardware interface, which tells how long the user has been up. The received signal strength intensity of the LoRa communication is up to minus 10 dB, which shows that the signal strength is high. If I reset the GPS, the runtime restarts as it is evident on the receiver. I have to move aside for proper satellite data communication and after which I now have the GPS coordinate with which I have transmitted also with the arrays. If any part of this video is interesting to you, then follow for more as I'll be sharing updates on the progress of this build as well as other projects ongoing.